Hello friends, welcome to Blessed Excellence Center, the center of excellence where first class students are groomed and nurtured. In today's lesson video, we are looking at the reaction of hydrogen iodide with 2-methyl-2-butene. Reaction of hydrogen iodide with 2-methyl-2-butene. Introduction. The reaction of hydrogen iodide, HI, with 2-methyl-2-butene, CH3, C, open bracket CH3, double bond CH, CH3, is an addition reaction of which an unsaturated hydrocarbon is converted to a saturated one. The center of reaction is where we have double bond. The reaction occurs by bond cleavage and follows markov nikov's rule. The formula for hydrogen iodide is HI, while the formula for 2-methyl-2-butene is CH3C, open bracket CH3, close bracket double bond CH, CH3. All right, all reaction mechanisms follow the same pattern, the same basis. You need to watch my video on the basis of reaction mechanism to get this better, okay? And the reaction starts with bond cleavage. So first of all, the 2-methyl-2-butene will undergo bond cleavage, generating positive charge and negative charge. Also, hydrogen iodide will undergo bond cleavage, generating positive charge and negative charge. Charge. Then they will exchange their charges to form the product. To form the product, that is the basis of reaction mechanism that's applicable everywhere. All right. Now look at the mechanism. Two methyl two butene undergoes bond cleavage, generating both positive and negative charges. Hydrogen iodide also undergoes bond cleavage, generating positive and negative charges. The product is formed by their exchange of charges. Markov Nikov's rule. Markov Nikov's rule states that for a reaction between unsymmetrical alkene and unsymmetrical reagent, the nucleophile will go to the carbon atom bearing double bond with least number of hydrogen atom. So the bond cleavage occurs in such a way to make that possible. Now we talk about Markov Nikov's role. It's very important. Markov Nikov's role is applied when the reaction is between unsymmetrical reagents and unsymmetrical alkene. In my video on the basis of reaction mechanism, I've explained the concept of unsymmetrical alkene and unsymmetrical reagent. But I want to tell you about the concepts of Markov Nikov rule. What the rule states? The rule states that. The nucleophile, being the negatively charged species, will go to the carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atom. Take it note, take it note, very important. That the nucleophile, being the negatively charged species, will go to the carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atom. All right, now let's see how this equation helps us to illustrate better. Now, this is CH3. C in red double bond, CH in red, then CH3, and we call that 2-methyl-2-butene, butene, because of the presence of double bond at that at carbon 2, okay? Then this is HI being hydrogen iodide, to give you CH3, C in red, then I in red, CH2 in red, CH3, and then CH3, we call this 2 iodo 2 methyl butane being the product. How is the product formed? Now look at this. This arrow on top is showing you how the bond cleaves, how the bond breaks. When I say cleaves, I mean break. Okay, good. Now, when you break this bond using this arrow this way, the two electrons that constitute this bond will be transferred to this carbon atom, making it negatively charged. Then this other carbon atom that loses the electron will be positively charged. Now, coming to hydrogen iodide, iodine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So, it will pull the two electrons to itself and become negatively charged. And that's what this arrow is doing here. This arrow here is showing you how the electron is transferred. In reaction mechanism, we use arrow to show the uh, movement of the electrons. Okay, good. So, the, when this arrow 
uh, shows this now the iodine will be negatively charged and the hydrogen will be positively charged then these other arrows as they are the down is showing you the direction of the electron in reaction mechanism electron moves from the negative to the positive and that is why this iodine that is negatively charged will now be attached to this carbon in red that is positively charged and that's what the arrow is showing move showing you the movement of the uh, uh, electron that it is the negative that will be attached to the positive okay now this other one this other carbon is negatively charged so this hydrogen that is positively charged will be attached to it now if you attach this hydrogen to this uh, carbon you will have this ch2 if you attach this iodine to this other carbon you will have this iodine here and that leads to the formation of two iodo two methyl butane how is the name formed why is it butane it is butane because we have one carbon two carbons three carbons and four carbon atoms remember one carbon is met two carbons is eight three carbons is probe and then four carbons is boots all right now iodine is an attachment here so we call it iodo we have iodine as an attachment is called iodo then we have ch3 as attachment is called methyl group okay good and then there are two attachments between methyl group and iodine okay so we name we attach them in alphabetical order i comes before m so it is iodo before methyl good now it is 2 2 because the iodine is attached at carbon 2 and then methyl group is attached also at carbon 2 now in naming organic compound you follow the lowest possible number if you count it from this way this is one this is two and this is three it's going to give you three three but if you count it from this way one two this is two so if you count from this it will give you two two I will pack nomenclature says follow the lowest possible number. So that's why we follow this direction and not the other way. Okay, so that gives you two iodo, two methyl butane. That is how the compound is formed. This is the production of Blessed Excellence Center, Beck, Biafest Class Students, and Nurture and Groom. Do well to subscribe to our channel. Meanwhile, thanks for watching. You can reach us on the number 070 437 30069.